we go again. It's uh, Tuesday, the 28th of February. Happy birthday to all who made it just in time to avoid leap year. So, uh, yeah, I feel sorry for those people. They only get a real birthday once every four years. And um, wasn't that a major plot point in Pirates of Penzance or something like that? Um, uh, hey, check the Gilbert and Sullivan trivia and let me know down in the comments. Uh, yeah, I have to go to the, the normal spiel. Uh, everything is entertainment purposes only. It's entertainment only. Uh, the full disclaimer is in the box. If you would like a, a reading, please shoot me an email about it, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. I don't keep people waiting. If you're, call, if you're asking about readings and scheduling, I get back to you very as quickly as possible. Uh, there is my tip jar yarn fund. I did finish the green one that I showed you the other day. And the new one is all sorts of pretty girly colors. So when this is finished, I will put pictures of all of the Afghan, all the kitty Afghans on my community page. So you can see what I was working on. <laughs> uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, and make sure you do the like, subscribe, share, click the bell thing. Uh, the red boots in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you click that for subscription because people had some questions about that. I don't know how to subscribe. Click my red boots. Yeah, they're, I pull them out quite often, but especially for Halloween because, you know, the red boots kind of nonsense in the movie Flashdance. Not Flashdance, Footloose. Wrong movie. Last chance is when you show the shoulders. Um, Footloose is red boots. <laughs> so, yeah, it's kind of like you have to. I'm showing my age, crying out loud. Um, now, it's I, I do have my notes. I, I've kind of been looking at things. And again, while getting glued together for this, I had some major stuff pop in. And I'll bring that up later on in the video because it's at the end of my notes. And like always, I will ramble off and on. And I, I do, um, I, I, I have to be careful. And if you need to punch up the speed to 1.25 1, or 1.5, go for it. Because I pause a lot to make sure what verbiage I am using is not offensive to certain people. So the videos will not get yanked down. So go ahead and speed it up because you kind of have to, because we all have to think quite a bit before we speak. Otherwise people get um, their noses out of joint and their feelings hurt. Personally, if someone gets their feelings hurt by a word that somebody is using, uh, they need, maybe they, what is the name of that school that they sent uh, Philip and uh, Charles to? Gordonston up in northern Scotland? Maybe these people need to have some, uh, have to be, go through a little bit of more extensive training or uh, really a, a tough education wise boarding school so they can toughen up and stop being such little whiny ass babies. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm getting, I, I do want to thank some people out there who've given me shout outs. Um, I'll go by their channel names so you can find them. Absolutely average. Wonderful guy. Thank you so much for the shout outs. Avid Gardener. Oh my God, she's a doll. Please watch her latest video. Uh, she had some, um, also had technical difficulties in the past few days, and she'll talk about it in the latest video that was released this morning. Uh, Graham the Baron Hesketh. I mean, I love his flight videos. I bump them over to family members who are heavy into aviation and they keep waiting for you to do the flight plans from World War II missions. Hint, hint. Please get one done by March 27th. Hint, hint. Um, 
Duchess of Narcissus, another great gal who's, um, gosh, she lives a few hours east of me. And another lovely lady, Padina. Um, she lives a couple states east of me also. She is great, fantastic. Um, she and I have emailed and uh, she's really encouraging. And I love the work that she does. So, hey, please, please give those people a look if you haven't. And uh, so, yes, shout out to, I mean, we all try to work together. And especially those of us who have had the opportunity to travel outside of the United States and see things. There's a lot more out there than what's in somebody's little 15 minute circumference. I know if they try 15 minute city here, I'm like, sorry, uh, the nearest convenience store is a 20 minute walk from me. Not 15. People need to realize it won't work here and won't work here in the States. Mm -mm, not at all. Um, the other thing I'm laughing at now is many of us who are gifted, we started saying things in 2020 that it was all government propaganda. <laughs> Well, now it's coming out that what we were saying, we were right. That little WAP who I was warned to stay away from and not to believe is finally admitting the truth. But hey, they had to keep playing by the script. Remember the movie Contagion? Uh, that was with uh, Kate Winslet and Gwyneth Paltrow. Hold on. Let me go f stop the stop the video. I'll go find it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, yes, this is the movie that I've been talking about. Let's see if I can do it without the... Uh, here's the movie. And it says, Nothing Spreads like fear and that's what they pulled on us the powers that be used fear to shut the world down and it's funny because the um a great a good democratic president used in one of his big speeches to gain election was the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And that speech was written for FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was a Democrat. He's the guy that was the commander in chief during World War II. So, hey, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And you can see it on the... Uh, video nothing spreads like fear and they used fear to control us and now um i don't know how many people have been paying attention but now without consulting one of our branches of government the executive branch wants to sign a treaty between the united states and the un and slash the World Health Organization. Uh, the exec executive branch wants to put, wants to surrender the United States of America to the dictation of the World Health Organization saying that if the WHO decides that there will be another pandemic, The World Health Organization, which is currently now run by a guy who was appointed by communist China, they, he will have control as to how people then live their lives. 
Yes, our executive branch of government wants to sign over our freedom to a communist appointee, to a guy who was appointed to head up the world WHO, who decides whether or not there's a pandemic or not, and the WHO's mandates we will be required to follow. So basically our executive branch is trying to surrender and give the United States, have us all subjugated to the control of communist China. Now this treaty needs to, he's trying to circumvent the approval of the houses of representatives and the Senate. So please, please, please contact your congressmen and your state senators and your senators in Washington. Tell them we are a free country. Because if I have a feeling, if it's not, if this, if he goes ahead and signs this treaty, what was coming to me during my, uh, while well, getting glued together. I kept hearing Hungary, the revolution, it'll be 1956 all over again. And hopefully it won't last just for 12 days. Because if we've been subjugated to the Chinese government and their dictates and we revolt against it, we may have actual fighting on United States soil. Well, actually, they've got enough troops already coming in through our southern border. So we have to be careful on that. And we really, we really do. People, please wake up. I mean, I, I've been waking up with nightmares about this. And, uh, yeah, the other day when I had to retake this video multiple times, that was information coming into me. I, I was sawing fight, fighting on American soil. So it now it's pertaining to this, this treaty that um, Jojo wants to sign or maybe that Barry is ordering Jojo to sign. So please, we've remember the people in Washington work for us. We don't, we, we're not subjects of their mandates or dictates. And, um, yeah, I will be making calls to my local congressperson and state senators and making a lot, a lot of noise as much as possible. And I hope everyone who sees this does the same thing. Do your own investigation. Do your work. It's out there now, please. It's been weighing very heavy and I've been getting so much so much information coming through on this and yeah i do hear things and i i mean i've been hearing my dad and my uncle saying stand up and fight you're our voice now so i'm like okay okay my dad it keeps saying remember my the scars underneath my nails remember my nails. And my dad did tell me that uh, at one point in time, he was a POW, but he escaped and he did go through torture. He let it, he let me know a little bit, but he didn't go into all details. And now I, <clears throat> when I'm talking to people and when I see things and reports and do my I actually go to the libraries and do investigation and research with certain books that aren't allowed to be put on the internet because they're so, well, let's put it this way. The people that run the internet don't want certain documents out there. So you need permission to go to certain libraries. And there's a few libraries that have areas that are only people doing specific research can get into. And since, Different librarians know I do a lot of research about things in the Midwest and Chicago. They let me in to look at stuff. 
So I'm finding some real crazy stuff. So, yeah, um, we <clears throat> people need to stand up and fight because we don't want to be dictated by the World Health Organization, which is part of the UN. So that's enough ramble on that. And yeah, it's, hey, it's, Fauci is now admitting it came from a lab, but of course they had to follow the script of the movie. So many people believe, of all things, people, most of everything that you can see coming out of Hollywood is foreshadowing of a game plan that the governments are trying to do or are doing or have done. The movie Argo was actually the story of how they got the people who had agreed to stay behind at the Iranian embassy and other people who got out in time, how they were able to get them out via the Canadians. So people just wake up, smell your coffee, stop buying the stop buying the stuff you see at that uh, mermaid store, buy your own and make it at home. Save the five bucks a day. That's what? 25. That's $35 a week you can save. Okay. Um, yeah. People have been bugging me. Oh, what's going on with Henry and Rachel? Well, I saw something that something it was people need to start looking at the police blotters because I guess they were, um, yeah, they, um, they were supposedly a, uh, I wrote those notes down. My gosh, where did it go? I remember writing it down earlier. Um, there's gossip being stated that they, their house was subject to a search warrant and they found some things that should not have been there and that they're, they've been brought in for questioning. So I know that most local municipalities have this thing called police blotter. So if somebody out there can go look for that area where that house is up in the Santa Barbara area, see if they actually did have the house looked over by an official agency and that they were brought in for questioning. That would be wonderful. And especially there would have been also um, child protective services involved because if the kids were there, if the parents are being brought in for questioning and may take longer than a certain time of hours, CPS then goes and takes care of the kids to make sure the kids are well taken care of while the parents aren't there. So look for that. And because I guess they do talk about things. If, if they go to an event, they do later document it in either an interview, uh, be it through print media or visual media, or unfortunately publish it in their memoirs. And uh, let's... I can understand why the woman who played uh, Monica is very upset because what person would, okay, let's say you threw a party at home and a friend of a friend came over and okay, they were making uh, comments about how your house is decorated. And then a few weeks later you find up on this friend of a friend's website, social media, pictures of your home. And you might have an antique piece of something that you inherited that may be worth a chunk of change. And this person is saying, oh, oh, this is at so-and-so's house where whose party I went to on X day. Gee, wouldn't it be nice? I'm sorry, but I'm very cautious who I allow into my home and yeah pretty much it's like hey i have this background this is 
That's my sewing cabinet. Yes, I have a pile of fabric folded up in there. I will get to it sooner or later. And uh, I, um, so I'm cautious about things. So they, they need someone. If someone can, please look at the police blotter because maybe the law enforcement found what they were looking for. And if that happens, that may have, may put a total kibosh on them being able to um, fly across the pond on their own decision. Somebody might end up getting deported along with the child that holds the UK citizenship because uh, he can't decide since he was born in England, he can't decide whether or not he wants to be a British citizen or an American citizen until he's 18. So he's automatically a UK citizen. So he's going to have to go back with daddy because daddy may be deported where the mommy may be stuck in the United States with no passport and the little girl. And if that bad stuff really is, Daddy uh, Daddy Warbucks is going to say, okay, since she caused this, um, you are going to get divorced. And uh, she gets with what she, she takes out of the marriage, what she brought into the marriage, and that's it. She gets child support and she has to surrender all family jewels that have been loaned to her. And that may be a whole nother ball of wax because there is, there are several private offices in like Los Angeles area that take, um, objects of high value and quietly liquidate them for people who happen to need money. Okay. Let's see what's next on the agenda. I, I hope, um, everybody is having a great day today. It's bright and sunny in Chicago tomorrow is supposed to be even better. It's supposed to be almost 60 degrees. Great for a walk along the lake and other great things. So uh, I'll be catching up with you and you'll see a video from me. Today's Tuesday. So I'll see you on Thursday with a video. Have fun. Bye bye.